Hello, we are going to look at unit rate with fractions. We are going to talk about finding unit rate, complex fractions, and then do a little bit of practice with that. So let's get right into it, finding unit rate. Jim runs 2 miles in 15 minutes. What is his rate of miles per minute? This example I'm going to show you is just shows how to calculate unit rate. And then when we go to our next example, you'll see it's exactly the same steps, only using fractions. On your mark, get set, go. Good job, Jim. So the unit rate is found by taking miles divided by minutes, or miles per minute. In this case, we would say 2 divided by 15, which gives us 2 fifteenths, or 0 0.133 repeated. That's how many miles Jim runs per minute. We could also find the unit rate of minutes per mile, which is not often the way we say it, but, but you do say how fast can you run the mile. So that's the same thing. How many minutes per mile that you run. So you would do that by finding minutes divided by miles. 15 divided by 2, or 7.5 minutes per mile, 7.5. That's how you find the unit rate. This does not change when you have a fraction. So we use Jim running 2 miles 15 minutes. In all our, the rest of our examples, we are going to be using fractions and fractions of, of time. So let's see our first example. Kaz rides 12 and a half miles in 3 quarters of an hour. What is his rate of miles per hour? <laughs> Let's figure it out. Again, the unit rate is found the same way. We do miles divided by hours. The difference here is that we're going to get something called a complex fraction. When we take the number of miles, 12 and a half, and divide it by 3 quarters, we get a stacked fraction that looks like this, 12 and a half over 3 quarters. That's a complex fraction where you have a fraction over a fraction. We can simplify this a little bit into being a, an improper fraction over a fraction, but it's still kind of not the way we like to look at fractions. So instead, we need to remember that a fraction means division. So this is 25 over 2 divided by 3 over 4. Now it looks a little bit better, and we can deal with that. The rules for dividing a fraction is that you multiply by the reciprocal, so it would be 25 over 2 times 4 over 3. Notice our second fraction is flipped over. Then we'll multiply numerator times numerator, 25 times 4, which gives us 100. Denominator times denominator, 2 times 3, gives us 6. And then we simplify this fraction. At this point, you might be saying, holy cow, you need to remember quite a few rules. You need to remember rules of simplifying fractions, making fractions from mixed numbers to improper fractions, improper fractions to mixed numbers, and the rules for um, dividing fractions means multiplying by the reciprocal. That's a lot, and if you need a review on any of those, I am not covering those topics inside of this lesson. We're just going to assume as a prerequisite that you know how to do those things. I do have videos on my channel on how to do each of those things. So you can look on my channel for videos on how to um, do any of those parts if you're not quite sure on how. Now what we're going to do is just write this as a decimal. 16 and 2 thirds is the same thing as 16.66 repeated. Or in other words, Kaz travels at 16.67 approximately miles per hour. Let's do another question here. If I paint three and a half cubic yards in um, one fourth of an hour, and my friend paints two and four fifths cubic yards in a fifth of an hour, who is painting faster, or are we both painting at the same rate? This type of question is one that is very difficult to compare. How do you compare three and a half in a quarter of an hour to two and four fifths in a fifth of an hour? It seems like a silly, crazy thing, but what you can do 
is find the unit rate of each person and then you can compare them because you'll be comparing cubic yards per one hour. You're finding unit rate and you're using it to compare. So let's do it. First we'll start with me. I did three and a half cubic yards in a quarter of an hour. I'm going to divide my painting yards divided by the time, convert that improper or that mixed number into an improper fraction, and divide. Now I skip the step where I write 7 over 2 divided by 1 over 4. Um, for the purpose of saving space here, I just wrote it as multiplying by the reciprocal. And I'll do that in all the remaining questions. I now multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, which gives me 28 over 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14. So my rate is I'm painting 14 cubic yards per hour. All right, now let's look at my friend and see how fast um, he or she went. I, didn't, I don't think I gave my friend a gender. All right, two and four fifths cubic yards in one fifth of an hour. I'm going to follow the same steps. First, I'll make that mixed number to an improper fraction. That helps when I go to divide it. Dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 14 over 5 times the reciprocal of 1 fifth, so 5 over 1. That will give me 70 over 5, and when we simplify that, we get 14. Both my friend and myself, we're both painting at the same exact rate, 14 cubic yards per hour. That's pretty nice. We're going to get a beautifully pink room. In this final question, this is a practice for you to try. I want you to try it using unit rates to figure out which is the better deal. Here's the question. I saw two sales on chicken. One store had two and one third pounds of chicken for $2.45. The second store had four pounds one fifth four and a fifth pounds for four dollars and sixty two cents which is the better deal remember you are looking for unit rate so find the unit rate and compare each you're looking for the cost per pound pause the video and try this one out on your own welcome back that was a lot of work if you did it and I hope you did because that's how you're going to really remember it. Let's look through. This should look similar to the work that you did. First off, we're going to look at store number one and compare the cost. Now, this is something we haven't looked at before. $2.45 is the same thing as 2 and 45 hundredths, if I'm going to write it as a fraction. 0.45 is 45 hundredths. So I'm choosing to write it as a fraction over a fraction. You can write it as a decimal as well. You'll notice if you did write it as a decimal, you'll get the same exact answer. I'm going to convert both of those mixed numbers to improper fractions, do some multiplication by the reciprocal. So 245 over 100 times 3 over 7. Notice I'm getting the reciprocal of the denominator when I change it to multiplication. And that simplifies to 735 seven hundredths. And when I divide that, I do get a decimal answer of $1.05. Store number two. I'm going to do the same exact thing, 4 and 62 hundredths over 4 and 1 fifth. Convert them into improper fractions. Make that into a multiplication question. I multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, which gives me 2,310 over 2,100. And when I simplify that fraction, I will get $1.10. So I can see the cost in store number one is $1.05 per pound of chicken, and in store number two, it's $1.10 per pound of chicken. So we're asking which is the better deal. You're actually looking for the one that has the lower number. 
So the first store actually has a better deal, even though you're buying it in smaller quantities. Quick recap, unit rate is great for making comparisons. Unit rate is found by using division, and you have to remember the rules for working with fractions. The only way you're going to get good at this is to practice, practice, practice. So you continue practicing and have a wonderful day.